Here's a little story about a man with a shed. He got really bored, so this is what he said. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna get on the radio. So now in his shed, he does a funny show. Broadcasting, that is. Radio Gold. It's pretty funny. Hello, and welcome to Top 10 FM here on Blog Talk Radio. Um, some of you who are veterans of Blog Talk Radio, who have been on Blog Talk Radio since almost the beginning, will probably remember me. Uh, now I'm called DJ Uncle Robbie, but I used to be DJ Uncle Bobby, and I simply just changed the name to uh, <laughs> to be able to uh, uh, continue broadcasting because all my accounts said Uncle Bobby, and I have a hard time you know, getting on them. And that username's already used, blah, blah, blah. So uh, now it's Uncle Robbie. Same same thing, same concept. Uh, you know, uh, since the beginning of uh, starting radio, I started on Blog Talk Radio. I'm now on Spreaker.com as well. And uh, it kind of veered away from Blog Talk Radio. Um, and kind of spent all my time on Spreaker for the past few years. But I've been doing this for three or four years now. So uh, some aspects of, of, of uh, you know, my DJ ability has gotten worse and some's gotten better. Um, it when I find the show in times of trouble, a sudden idea comes to me reading off the list, top ten. And now that I am reading this list, it occurs to you that I can't read. Going back to school soon. Top ten. Top ten. Top ten. Top ten. Top ten. A list full of nonsense. Top ten. Although it may be horrible, there is still a chance that it's funny. Maybe it's wishful thinking. We will see. Top ten, top ten, top ten, top ten. Reading off the list, top ten. You hear that? Jesus Christ. Can you hear it, really? Yeah, but it's ambiance. Ambiance, that's right. Uh, man, it is loud. <laughs> so, uh, does, does Liz often dry your, dry your hammers in the dryer? I dry my what? I can't even hear what you're saying. <laughs> does Liz often dry your hammer in the dryer? <laughs> Well, yeah, you know, uh, it, it, it's the it's got the rubber handle on it, so she likes to get that nice and and and, and hot for me. <laughs> so when I grab it, it sticks to my hand, so I don't drop it. <laughs> you know, Bobby, it's not a bad idea to keep your tools in the dryer. You don't have to keep it spinning while they're in there. Jesus Christ, I don't know what's in there, but that thing goes. So, welcome to um, the Shed Show. Uh, I am your DJ Uncle Bobby. With me, what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, she didn't find that funny. <laughs> uh, you're listening to the Shed Show with me is Joe Seeker, and uh, today's title is Fantasyland, Joe. Fantasyland. <laughs> you know where that is, Bobby? What? Where's that at? I know where Fantasyland is. Where is it? Fantasyland is the land that Republicans believe in that we're, we're billionaires. Well, uh, 
Whether you're right or not, I, I don't really know exactly what Fantasy Land could be, but I do know that you, you need to ride, to get there, you have to ride a purple unicorn. That's all I know. It's the only way to get there, Jeff. And, and when you get to the gate, you have to uh, know the magic words. Whatever they may be. Uh, Oh God! Did you hear that? <sighs> Silence. Oh, it started back up. <laughs> it it was gone for a minute. And start. The, you know the fucked up thing about the shit going on. The ambiance we're talking. Ambiance in the background we're talking about. Washers and dryers going off. It ain't even my shit. It's my fucking sister's shit. Uh, you know, I, this is not our normal time to do the show. Usually we like to do it in the morning where it's really quiet. You know what I mean? There's no kids here. Kids are about to Never come. Any interruptions. Yeah. Uh, no Debbie interruptions because she's still sleeping off the night before. <laughs> you know, uh, you, you know, the kids are in school. Like, there's a lot less going on. But... I woke up, realized, uh, didn't even know I was getting paid, didn't even know it was payday, realized, all right, we got shit, I gotta, gotta go get food and stuff like that, finish off the shopping, and I uh, came back and I ate taco salad, uh, walking tacos, Joe, uh, a carnival, uh, a, a carnival recipe, actually, that, a recipe that I, that I acquired from the carnival. Have you ever heard of such thing? Uh, walking yeah, it's, it's a fucking taco kit on a bag of Doritos. That's right. Well, you're making it sound so dirty and simple. <laughs> it's acquired with a lot more love than that, the way I make it and the way they make it at the Carnival Joe. And I don't take a taco kit and then, well, maybe they do, uh, but I don't think they do because I make mine from pretty much scratch and, and theirs is even better. So. Okay, Bobby. Well, okay, before we go any further, now you make this from scratch. That was just from a recipe. Uh, well, from scratch, meaning I gr I grab the, the the hamburger meat and I take the uh, and I get two packets at the store of taco sauce and <laughs> and a bag of and a bag of Doritos. We gotta back up. So when you say hamburger meat, is there another type of hamburger that you stuck to? Well, actually, the meat we got this time was uh, three different meats. I'm not sure. It was a ground up. Actually, it was like ground up sausage. Okay. Okay. Right. Ground up sausage. Ground up hamburger. Ground up. Okay. It was. Right. But I want to rewind everybody back to not the Christmas that just went by, the Christmas before that. And for us, long time listeners, did everybody remember when Bobby decided he really liked eggnog? Oh, and I made it. Remember, I made it myself. <laughs> I wish I could, I gotta find that episode. That was like the, I made my own eggnog on the show and I drank it. <laughs> Well, no, I looked it up online, but the problem was that I, I didn't have half the shit. <laughs> no, <laughs> Joe. The problem was I didn't have half the shit they they had. They, I didn't have half the shit that required on the recipe, so I just used what was what in my mind was a close enough substitute. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and uh, and if you were to have it analyzed in a, in a, uh, analyzed in a, in a, what's it called, a laboratory, probably uh, would be, by, by a laboratory matician. yeah, well, by a laboratory matician, uh, they would probably tell you it's concrete, <laughs> it, was, it tasted like fucking cement, it's what it tasted I like, I mean, dude, when it slid down my throat, like, you, you could feel the texture, I don't remember what the hell I put in it. You brought it up. We're done with that. All right. All right. Your show can't always be about you. Okay. No, because usually it's about you. <laughs> I just thought of something last night. Okay. Well, I'm hanging around. I'm talking to some people. I'm on a pub, you know. I'm politic, you know. I'm being Mr. Friendly like I always do. Oh, of course. Who is it? Who'd you run into? Angela Truth, her name is. Turn that dryer ambiance down, please. I'm trying to hear Joe Seeker. All right, go ahead. What? She's a fortune teller. 
fortune teller, card reader, all that fucking mumbo jumbo shit. And she says to me, she says, we're getting, we're on Skype. And she says, so, uh, Joe, where are you from? And I said, uh, Canada. She went, uh, made this noise. Like, <laughs> oh, my. Really thought of me, and I was being polite. <laughs> you know, that's the way us Canadians try to be sometimes when we're not clubbing seals and shit. And I thought to myself, well, fuck. How good of a fucking fortune telling fucking card reader can you be, you lying bitch? If you can't even tell what fucking country I'm from. Yeah, that's that's not even a very good one, like I seriously got a question your powers of observation. A like you've been around Spreaker for how long and you don't know that I'm from fucking Canada? That's not even mentioning that your power should give you that insight anyway, like uh, yeah, he might be from Canada. No, no. Uh, her powers are only good for uh picking unwitting lottery numbers and uh reading yesterday's news. Uh if you need those things done, uh oh yeah, and she can tell you about a dead relative named Robert. Because nobody ever has a relative in their family with the name of Robert. Yeah, because they, people aren't washing them, and I got tired of I had to wash a whole sink of fucking dishes. And that, I washed all the dishes that were in there, and I put them all away, and that was, was left. The only thing that should be in there, the only thing that should be in there is a, is a, is a pan. Well, I got something here. And that's for me, because I cooked it. Huh? Shibboleth Internet Ranch was paying Oh, yeah, well, that's out for dinner, and I'll get it. Oh. Damn. I've been washing my bowls. All right, well, that's for me, Mommy, for lunch, and then, and then the stuff that I used to make the stuff with that you just ate. I'll get to it. He's breaking my balls because there's dishes in the sink, and I said there shall be never dishes in the sink ever again. <laughs> and they're mine, so he's rubbing it in. I know, but they're mine. They're mine that I cook, like they're cooked with. Besides the bowl, like I cooked with that stuff. I'm gonna get it. You enjoy your meal, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You you washed your bowl, right? Yeah. All right. Thank you. I want to play uh, something here, Bobby. Hold on, before we get before you go somewhere else, are we off this lady now? Yeah. Can, I'm doing a little investigating. Hold on, Joe. Stop. Stop. Are you done with the lady? Canadians You're about to go somewhere else, right? Canadians are like Hush. You're about to go somewhere else? I mean, talk about something else? Yes. Okay, so I want to, before we're done with this lady, I'm not done with her. You're done with her, I'm not. Can well, I? It's hard to tell, Bobby, because you were on fucking, I don't know, fucking. I know, I know. The, the boy distracted me. What else is new, all right? Just, I, was just... Trying to, I was trying to cover it up. You pulled back the curtain. I I'm try I know I apologize, but I wanted I wanted to say when you were done ranting about her, I wanted to ask you if I, I can assume that she's the donkey of the day. Yes. Thank you. Good God! All that to play a fucking soundbite. <laughs> yes, I'm doing the show and you're stopping all over it. I what did I say to you? I said I'm gonna. I said, buddy, I'm going to do a show. You can go get Bell and, and everything else. And, and, and I figured you'd go hide in the room and then you'd go get Bell and you'd come back and I said, you have the computer. Now i got to do another show, so now you're going to have to wait another half hour for the computer. I thought there were three hours. Hey, Ian. What? Just because your best friend's an asshole don't mean you got to be a dick. Yeah. What? Oh. So just because your best friend's an asshole doesn't mean you gotta be a dick. <laughs> I thought I was the asshole according to my dad. <laughs> no, I ca I've called you a dick before. I call you a dick more than I do an asshole. No, you don't. <coughs> call me the taint. I'm in between. The taint. He's in between. That's tr that's a good one, actually. Where's my drum roll? <laughs> Did you hear that? He said, Man, "Call me the taint. I'm in between." Huh? Plus, I'm smelly anyway. uh, it's hard to do it. He's going to keep going. I don't know what to tell you. I can't get him out. He came out here. He just had a fucking giant bowl of tacos, and now he's fucking coming out here for fucking cereal. 
Well, the, the milk joke, the milk will wash away the, 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 um, the, the taco stuff stuck to his ribs, see? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> your girlfriend's gonna get some good kissing from you later. <laughs> what? I said your girlfriend's gonna get some good kissing from you lately. He said, what a mix. He said, tacos and, and, and friggin' milk. <laughs> I want a glass of cereal. Is brushing his teeth not a thing there? Brushing, he brushes his teeth. Oh, so I didn't realize that your, 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 brush, your teeth covered up the chemical reaction and the churning going on in your digestive tract. <laughs> yeah, that's going to come back up later. He's not lying. <laughs> that's true. Methane gas. You know, you know what burps are? Do you think the brush gets rid of a burp? Hey, you fix that rug right now. Next time you're in health class or science, try to read. In health class this year, we're learning about fucking. Whoa! I don't think they said fucking. Today, kids, we're going to learn about fucking. Stop trying to act cool and cough. You can't say fuck until you pay taxes. So that. He's almost gone. Come on. Come on. Come on, Ian. Go. Come on, Ian, because I swear to God, I won't give it to you. I won't give you the computer. I wanted to do a show before the real interruption comes. That's about. Okay, so what were you saying, Joe? <laughs> so from yesterday's show, I know... Show Billy headquarters. Right. Now, I know like a lot of other people are, are, are as speaker uh, now, and they, they think they're, they're the new bad boys on the block, and everything. Oh, that's cool, I get that. But we're the OGs, Bobby. Me and you are the OGs. That's right. We're, we've been here since... Originally. Uh, so, anyway, anyway, uh, get back on topic here before I was so rudely interrupted by Bobby. I didn't interrupt you. What are you talking about? I went a little investigating yesterday. Now, Bobby did a nice little cutesy piece with Liz, so we'll play it here and I'll play it. I don't want Bobby doctoring with it. I don't want Bobby doctoring with this. Uh -huh. so, you know, What's the problem? Bobby tried to sugarcoat this. Bobby tried to play it like it was all Miss Nancy Pansy. And he likes to pretend like Liz. It's Miss Nice. But oh no. Because we have technology here. We have the equipment. We enhance this. Oh. This is what she really said. This is what she really said. Okay. Just one second here. I gotta get my enhancer. Okay, so I see where we're going with this. <laughs> this ought to be good. <laughs> this ought to, this, this is, uh, I won't say anything until you go. Are you ready yet? You're killing me. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> you should have had that ready when... <laughs> Over there doing the, the <laughs> dice surfing and all that. 
De- Debbie is a Dicerferin magician. Now, uh, so I knew that's where you're going with it. I thought you were gonna perform a little better with that. <laughs> like, why didn't you play it and then have her say it right after I said it? Because, <laughs> because Bobby, there's, there's more to this. Okay. Oh, okay. There's more to this. Well. <laughs> Teacher, because um, I, I I can't wait to replay this show to her, because maybe then uh, she'll she'll speak louder in the fucking microphone when she wants to speak, so she'll so she uh, or she's gonna you know get what she just got today, and that's you. What's that, Liz? You got something to say to Bobby? So Well, between Joe and, and Ian, uh, now Fantasyland has no uh, no goddamn, like, you know, it, it, no theme. Because the point was, I was trying to get to a top ten. And we don't have time to do it now, so. We're going to have to make a Fantasyland part two, I think. I'm sick and tired of this shit. I spend hours upon hours upon hours. What, what, what is it about your family, Bobby? They won't let you do a show. I thought we cut our mic off. That is true. That is true. What's that? Figure out how to use the fucking internet or get the fuck off it. <laughs> well, good point, Liz. Good point. Yeah, well, uh, you know, this show's shit anyway, because in the very beginning I already fucked up. I meant to play the top ten intro, and I played the fucking top ten clip, and then I couldn't hear with the fucking ambiance, the dryer ambiance going in the background, and... Ian stomping around here and friggin' oh my god, what a mess! I miss my shit already. Well, Bobby, it's pretty good. You do a good job. Uh, Liz is really good at a computer. She's had a computer for how long? I just got a computer four years ago. So excuse me, it took me about a year to teach myself how to properly use it. Oh, okay, no problem, Liz. I don't think Liz sounds anything like that. <laughs> I missed that one. Whoa, what? I said she does in my head. She sounds like that in my head when she speaks. Ian, what don't you understand? You have today's mail. What are you getting? Ian. Oh my God, he's waiting for her. He, she, her Chris, Christmas. Uh, listen, 
Christmas has gotten qu quite uh, unromantic. It's fucking 11 months. It's, it's, it's like 11 months and a week away here. <laughs> he's still, he's, no, he's still waiting for his Christmas presents from this year. <laughs> he's waiting for him in the mail. He's waiting for him in the mail. <laughs> from who? The mailman. Like Santa's late, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Liz sent, Liz got his shit. He wanted special shit. Goth fucking necklaces and whatever the fuck else he got. He got a coat that he's wearing now, but that coat came. So now he's waiting for the rest of his stuff. Did, did she get him the original goth necklaces from the internet? What did you, kind of necklace did you get? I said it was a goth necklace. Didn't you, you went, isn't that what you're waiting on right now? But are you waiting for a necklace too? She hasn't ordered it yet. She hasn't even ordered it yet? So, but you got, you got a belt. He's, no, he knows how, he's waiting for the belt now. But I, I'm trying to, what he doesn't get is, he, I, we, the, the mail, the, the ma that mail's from today, so I don't know why he's running out of here, ruining my show, knowing that the mail already came. The mail the came already. It's supposed to come today. What? It said between the 6th and the 14th, and today's the 14th. And this came a few hours after I got home from sleep. Well, there was no mail in there yesterday, remember? You made... Everybody go out there. You were so worried about it, but you wouldn't go outside. You made everybody else go out there. Me, Bell, and Victor went outside to get your shit in your mailbox, and there was no mail there. So that's obviously from today. I made Victor go. You just offered to go in his place because he was being a pussy. Yeah, but that's exactly. Isn't that the same reason why you didn't go out there? I'm going to interject here. So when he wants the computer, we're going to do another show of that, right? Yeah. Joe, Joe's very upset with you right now. And well, should he be? You're ruining our show. We have three minutes now. Right? And ten minutes of it was me talking to you and that goddamn dog barking in the goddamn background. Shut up. Here's Victor. All right, we're going to play a song. We're going to try to do another one. We'll be back. My name is Bruce Wayne, but girl, you can call me Batman. My name is Bruce Wayne, but girl, you can call me Batman. My name is Bruce Wayne, but girl, you can call me Batman. My name is Bruce Wayne, but girl, you can call me You can call me Batman, the protector of the night. Been kicked out twice, now I'm back here to fight. Put up your hands, y'all The dark night rises Don't mess with me or you're gonna bruise Don't mess with me or you're gonna lose Don't mess with me cause you don't know who you messing with, son I'm a wealthy billionaire and this is the city I run My name is Bruce Wayne But girl, you can count Break your back in the beat, I'm the crowd screaming for more Where I'm from, shoot, that's our a pain So call me Exterminator, aka Pain Can I get a cat woman? Do you remember the name? No whack, Halle Berry, I'm at the top of my game You need nine lives, cause I'm killing this ish Keep them coming back for more like milk in a dish I've got talons with my talons, red laws with my claws The cat with the whip on the hip I'll suck off your face with these lips There's no way to win with two faces. It's you slays to face me. So you might as well get a new case with DC. Tisk, tisk. You didn't think I wouldn't join the fun? Who should kill Batman? I'm the one. A liver tail of dead bodies. That's just a psychopath. Leave me with one bullet for Batman and that psycho man. I know. I 
no, I said you complete me, but now 